to combat preventable disease outbreaks, information is, in my mind, the forefront of this matter. My mother would turn to anti-vaccine groups online and on social media, looking for her evidence and defense rather than health officials and through credible sources. This may seem to be in malice because of the dangers that not vaccinating imposes, but this is not the case. My mother came in the sense of loving her children and being concerned. Uh, this misinformation spreads and that's not necessarily um, justifiable. And that was Ethan Lindenberger warning legislators about the spread of vaccine myths on Facebook. The 18-year-old got himself vaccinated, defying his mother's wishes. And joining us right now is Ethan Lindenberger, along with Dr. Mikhail Varshavsky here in our studio. Uh, thanks so much for joining us, both of you. Ethan, thank you very much for your courage and for, for joining us today. First, tell us why this was so important to you. Well, I guess for me, it's something that strikes obviously pretty close to home with my mom's beliefs. And also for myself and my family, we weren't vaccinated for almost every single major vaccine that you're supposed to receive. And I even said in my testimony, MMR, chickenpox, and polio, I never received vaccines for until I turned 18. So because of that, I think it's extremely important. Dr. Mike, you've talked a lot about that. Yes, well. I, I've talked a lot about this, not only on your show, Maria, but also on my YouTube channel that uh, I think Ethan has been able to check out and see that there's a way for us to get information out there to those who are anti-vaccine, to create a, a level of common ground, a level of compassion, so that we can influence someone's view, influence them to make the right decision exactly how Ethan has done. Now, villainizing Facebook, right? That's what we're talking about here, that a lot of the misinformation stems from social media sources. It's difficult to do that. It's difficult to vilify a source like Facebook or YouTube and say that's the problem. Because I myself, a quality physician who gets the majority of his information from WHO, CDC, I'm on there giving quality information. So just to put Facebook or social media in a bucket and say everything on there is wrong is not exactly accurate. No, but they do need to be held responsible. Ethan, has Facebook reached out to you? Have uh, these social media platforms, some of which are very aggressively cracking down on uh, the, the anti-vaccine lies, have they talked to you? I haven't spoken to any of the platforms specifically, but kind of addressing what Dr. Mike was saying, in my testimony I explicitly said that change is taking place and that more strides could be taken to make sure that misinformation doesn't spread. And I think that with Facebook and YouTube, they're not necessarily to blame, it's just that the platforms have been kind of used to spread this misinformation more effectively, and that's just concerning at least. But, but, but you do say that Facebook has a big role here. What do you want Facebook to do? Well, at least for my mother, she uses Facebook to find uh, groups and share information very quickly and through um, in a very convincing way. And so it's hard to distinguish what's real and what's not. And so I think for Facebook, there's maybe some options that we're not seeing. But as far as I know, I mean, they've taken some good steps. Bye. All right. Ethan, thanks so much. Ethan Lindenberger and Dr. Mikhail Varshavsky. Thank you so much, gentlemen.